Whispers of the Past. Chapter 7, The Riff. The air in their apartment had grown dense, charged with an energy that seemed to pulsate with the beat of an unseen heart. Kira could feel it enveloping her, a whisper of ancient secrets that only she could decipher. Ethan watched her, his brow furrowed in concern and frustration. The supernatural events that had once been mere stories to tell in hushed tones were now their reality, and with each passing day, the chasm between them widened. Ethan, who had always been the anchor in Kira's tumultuous sea, found himself adrift. The tools in his arsenal logic, reason, and the tangible were useless against the spectral forces that now invaded their lives. I should be able to protect you, he said one evening, the words heavy with a helplessness Kira had never seen in him before. His admission was a mirror to her own fears, a reflection of the vulnerability they both felt in the face of the unknown. Kira, however, saw it differently. Where Ethan saw a battle to be fought with shields and swords, Kira saw a journey, a path that she alone could tread. The pendant, the spirit, the ancestral whispers that guided her, they were calling her, pulling her towards a destiny that had been woven into the fabric of her being long before she was born. The decision to travel to the ancestral village was made with a heart heavy with the knowledge of what it might mean for her and Ethan. This is something I must do alone, she told him, her voice steady despite the turmoil that raged within. Ethan's protest was a storm of emotions, fear, anger, desperation. But beneath it all, Kyra heard the unspoken plea of a man who simply didn't want to lose the woman he loved. Their final night before her departure was a tapestry of silence and whispered apologies, of hands held and promises made, promises neither knew if they could keep. As dawn painted the sky with strokes of gold and crimson, Kyra left, the pendant warm against her skin, a beacon guiding her towards the unknown. Before embarking on her journey, Kyra had spent countless hours poring over old maps and documents Dr. Joshi had provided, tracing the lineage and migrations of her ancestors. A breakthrough came when she discovered an old journal in the museum archives, detailing the geographical landmarks surrounding the village. Armed with this knowledge, she managed to pinpoint its location a secluded area, far removed from the well-trodden paths of modernity. Reaching the village was a journey back in time. Kira traveled by train, bus, and finally on foot, each step taking her deeper into a landscape that seemed to whisper of times long past. The final leg of her journey was a trek through dense forests, following a narrow path that twisted and turned, as if mimicking the complexities of her quest. When she finally emerged from the forest's embrace, the village lay before her, as if it had been waiting for her all this time. Stepping onto the soil of her ancestors for the first time, Kira felt a surge of power, a connection that transcended time and space, binding her to the land and its spirits. Here, in this place of beginnings and endings, Kira would seek the answers that had eluded her, confront the curse that had bound the spirit to the pendant, and perhaps in doing so, find a way to heal the rift that had opened between her and Ethan.